Gustavo Adolfo Uribe here and on this episode of uh, the whiteboard I'm going to show you how I personally write my rap lyrics okay um, I took a lot of classes in songwriting uh, I've been doing um, uh, hip-hop since I was in high school and, I, and then I went to music school and I developed my craft and I'm 30 years old at the moment and I want to share the some of the, the the things that I've learned along the way. So if you're a rapper and you and you want to get better, or whatever, um, you know, check this out. Um, I also got you know uh, beats on chateausholo.com. Links in the description. So if you need some beats, check that out. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get into this video. Um, now traditionally. Uh, when I was st starting to to write rhymes, you know, you got your you know, your um, your paper like school paper, and it's got the lines and stuff, college rule or wide rule or whatever, and usually one line. One line equals one bar. Okay, that's like a traditional like poetry. And then you got a stanza. It's po poetry words, you know what I'm saying? But in this case, you know, you got four bars or whatever. That would be like a stanza. And you got 16 bars. So, like, you know, you got four of those. And that's like, you know, a page. Uh, it's like 16 bars of rapping, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's like traditionally how you do it. Um, and sometimes, you know, you write to... to to uh, beats, you know, just to try to get better, to to work on your to work on your lyrics and stuff like that, and you know, work without lyric, uh, without the music and with the music and blah 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 blah. But um, throughout my um, experience, I've developed a unique way of writing uh, rap lyrics, and I'm gonna share that with you. Okay, so the first thing I do, I used to do that stuff, but now I, I don't anymore. I actually have a formula that I've developed and with this method I'm able to um, uh, do uh, rhythmically complicated things that were would be unavailable in the traditional way of looking at things so um, so first of all uh, I, I gotta explain uh, rhythm real quick um, just to give you an overview um, I took a class in Indian music, Indian uh, classical music, which is Tala, Tala rhythm at Cal Arts, and it opened my eyes, right? Uh, traditionally in Western music, you have uh, beats, and you divide those beats into tuplets, right? So you got like a, a, tr uh, a triplet, you know, or like a you know, quintuplet, or a sextup, sextuplet, or whatever the fuck it is. You take the beat, and you divide that by a number, and you split that into whatever number it is and you write you know the number on top of it so it's a tuplet right so like instead of one that's a b it'd be like you know this is four so taka 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 you know taka 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 right that's in western music all right but in in indian music they have this thing this concept called cycles all right so in essence it's kind of similar but it's a different perspective of looking at it so um the rhythm instead of dividing the beat we just call it speeds they just call it speeds right so for example they you know one two three four five six seven eight nine and you can go infinite but it's called speeds um and which is kind of the same thing as dividing the beat but the cool thing about the speed concept is that you can put these speeds 
over uh, beats, beat groups. So, in other words, if you have four beats, right? Boom, 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 boom. Say four beats, right? And then you go, you go into five speed. It'd be like, you know, five beats over four or some shit like that, right? So you get these interesting, you know, compl you could basically superimpose any any speed on anything, you know? That's how I understand it. Maybe they might, you know, if someone that, you know, might be like, no, 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 that's not, how well, whatever, fuck it. You'll get what I'm saying, all right? Um, so basically, and then, so that's one con one part of it. And the other part of it is they is they do shapes, okay? Shapes. So for example, let's say they got uh, uh, three um, shit, like th like a three speed, right? They're going in three speed, which is trip triplets, and they'll do like shapes. So they'll take this shape. And then they'll repeat this shape and and repeat the shape again and then it'll land on the whatever bar or how many bars that you're doing. So it's like an equivalent to the bars um, that you're using. So how does this translate to, to you know layman's terms, right? So basically, all you have to to the shortcut or whatever is basically got to understand this, right? So for triplets, you say uh, takita, 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 right? Takita, right? For three, and taka for two. Takita and taka for two. And, and you realize that anything that you want to do, whatever speed it is, it's either going to be two or three. All right, it's something I learned in, in, in Cal Arts, which is kind of interesting. Um, shout outs to the homies over there. So basically, takita, you can make six speed with takita takita, right? Or nine speed, takita, 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 right? Or two, you can make four. Taka, 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 taka. Okay, that's four. Okay, now, now this is where it gets interesting. You can get five, and and in Western music they have this shit, but it's not as not as really, it's a different perspective, dude. So that's why I'm telling you this Indian shit really opened my my mind, you know. So for five, right? You can do four plus one, one plus four, three plus two, two plus three, right? So you could say. Um, That's five, right? Four plus one. And okay, so one plus four. Wait, wait, sorry, my bad. That's five. Right? Three plus two. Three plus two. Two plus three. Right? Some shit like that, right? 
And the and the interesting is these syllables, it gets really complicated in this in this Indian tala stuff. But basically, like when you're when they're playing the drums, every drum sound has a um, sound that's associated with that. So they can actually, in in essence, um, orally um, uh, pass down phrases and compositions based on the actual sounds of the taka takita and there's more sounds to it like takitom takita takitom whatever uh and, and it's like a, it's a language it's basically a language if you study linguistics it's basically a language they got phones phonemes and and words and syntax and it's pretty it's it's mind-blowing but anyways to take a black back to planet earth why is this important okay So if you know the basics, takita and taka, you can make anything. You can make sevens, you can make nines, you can make fives, anything crazy. And you have to practice it. But basically, so I'm going to go back to how I write rhymes, okay? The GAU method, Gustavo Adolfo Uribe, all right? So you get your track um your beat right and you got to do this to the beat right so here's your beat okay and then what i'll do is i'll do a, a scratch track meaning um just whatever just freestyle like improv improv improvise the actual rhythm so it's like be like for example let me get some wine, hold on. And then over that, taki taka taka taki taka, taki taki ta, taki taka 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 ta taka ta taki ta ta, taki ta. And you kind of use these these phrases as the rhythm, right? And then you notice like you can get some really really complicated rhythmical shit and phrasing using these little these syllables taka 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 that's like two right or four and then takita that's a triplet but you can like you can it doesn't have to be 16 notes it could be eighth notes takita 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 you know just interesting rhythmic patterns right and then so that's the that's the first you 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 freestyle the the scratch track the rhythms. Now the second part is you use dummy words. So so whatever the fuck it is, um, and you can put some words in there like freeze the put them on the things please like insert little like words here and there that are dummy words that can give you kind of like okay this is the kind of sounds that you're going to using so in other words the 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 assonance or the consonants of the actual uh of the actual the lines of the of the raps so dummy words because you can always go because the, the point of the dummy words is that you're putting stuff in there that's kind of anchors you're anchoring the rhythm with the actual words that you're going to use. Or not the actual words that you're going to use, but the, the, the sketch of the words that you're going to use. So the next step is once you got your dummy, dummy words to your scratch track, you could play it back. And then you could kind of like, you know, mess around with it until you find something rhythmic and musical that you like. And then you're going to... Um, you're gonna write that shit down, and then there, your your lyrics are already written in a sense. They're already sketched out. <clears throat> so now what I do is you take your, you know, you're writing your pen. Now this is where it gets like it's kind of tedious from this point because the rhythm and the dummy words are kind of like easy, very creative, blah 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 blah. But once you find something that you sounds that you the way you sound. Uh, it sounds like the way you like it. Uh, you got to write it down. 
Now, traditionally, they'll do one bar per line. But what I do is I write down the phrasing. So sometimes this phrase, it might be one and a half bars. It might be a half a bar. It might be, a, yeah, let's say it's two, like, instead of a full bar, it's two halves of a bar. Why would it do that? But like, because I'm spacing it out. Normally, you put like a comma or some shit, but this would be like, da ka da, da 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 da, da da ka da ka da, right? Da da da, da da da, da da da, da da, da ka 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 da. Notice how I'm putting syllables in. It can get really complicated depending on you know what it is. So the actual phrasing, and this helps the musicality of it, right? Um, because the more rhythmic, rhythmically complicated you, you get, you notice that you don't have to end on the end of bars. You could end in the middle of like three bars down the road. It can get really fucking complicated the more you, you, you play around with this, right? In other words, I mean, using that Indian method where they have like phrases and, and, and you can actually do like one, two, three, and it's like the same syllable count but with different words. Yeah, I'm giving you some gold here. I'm giving you some fucking gold because I actually do some of these, these tactics, these strategies in, in my album um, that's coming out. Uh, you'll hear it. But it can, I have some very interesting... Um, rhythmic uh, architecture okay so that's how you get really really interesting interesting sounding shit okay so that's that's the second step now the third third step so you got your scratch with the dummy words you got your you wrote it down you actually wrote it down with syllables and with the dummy words you wrote it down Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do articulations, okay? So, you got your rhythm, but obviously everything, you don't need to have everything staccato. You could like legato, staccato, you could have it, um, you know, growing in dynamics, growing less in dynamics, whatever. So I'll put musical articulations. So for example, here's the words. Um, okay. These are words. So for example, let's say I want to do like a legato or something. I'll put like a legato slur or I'll put um, staccatos, staccato symbols on the words. If I want to make sure that they're staccato, I might do an a uh, little accent here. Um, it, like, let's say I have a phrase, and I need to go jump in right next to the to the next phrase, to the next phrase. Um, it might help me like remember that I have to go straight to the next line, or I can just you know use that as an accent, as an accent over certain words. So that way you you. You start to map. You start to map out the articulations. All right. Now, after you do that, and you kind of get it to sound like the way you want it to sound, then you start to put in the real words. And. This is can get very tedious, but here's the thing that I said before in another video about how to improve your rapping is that rhyming should be the last thing you think about as as a as a as a lyricist or rapper. Rhyming is actually the least important thing in my opinion. Why? Because there's so many different types of rhyming. There's you know there's slant rhymes. There's you know real rhymes. There's um, you know words uh, that you can put together and and kind of like construct rhymes from different parts of different words. There's there's like Eminem does that stuff. 
And so rhyming is really not important. What really is important, because uh, you could you could just get a dictionary, rhyming dictionary, and you could pump out like a hundred billion rhymes. Rhymes. It's not a fucking rocket science, all right. Um, what really is the the most important thing is the is the musicality of the lyrics because if you have the dummy words, the actual sound of the lyrics, the actual flow, it's already it's already uh, written out in the lyrics. So anybody who sings these these lyrics, they don't have to know how to rap because the lyrics are already written in a way that it takes care of itself. That's that is the whole point of lyricism is that they're they're it's poetry set to music. So if you say it, you should have a natural. Uh, it, it's it, the musicality is already written in the fucking words. All right. So anyways, you put the real words. Now this is tedious, but if you already have a theme in your head or if you're telling a, telling a story, all you have to do is connect the dots. All right, connect the fucking dots. You already know where the accents are, where the rhyming is, rhyming is supposed to be, what, you know, blah, 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 blah. And you just connect the fucking dots. Just connect the fucking dots. And before you know it, man, I've actually been with this method that I'm teaching you right now. My method, I I can I can write a whole verse with one rhyming one uh, type of rhyme. You know, I can use this, the same fucking rhyme and I could do a whole verse, or I can I can I can switch the flow like like that or whatever. Or I could take a piece of the of the flow and then I could I could build it, extend it, reduce it. I can, I mean, I can do anything the fuck I want, man. You know, this method is very, uh, very specific way of doing it. Um, but it, it, it does have its pros, okay? Meaning that uh, you can get some very complicated and interesting shit uh, from this method. Now, the last part is, of course, you got, after you have your real words, you have to do a demo of it. Okay, and this demo is you actually rap, you rap what you did, you rap what you did, and then that way you can get out the, all the kinks, the kinks out of it because you're gonna find out that when you actually write the stuff, there's gonna be certain things that. It, it's interesting that I can actually rap very quickly. In fact, I could probably be the the fastest rapper in the planet universe, but it's not. It's unintelligible. There comes a point where you rap so fast it's unintelligible and it's not worth it. It's not worth uh, actually rapping about. So you got to take some of that out and pull it back and you craft it. And basically with this demo, you are able to uh, have something that you are happy with that you can, you know. So anyways, get the demo, work out the kinks. Then you're ready with your final draft. And now you can record it for real and get that track finished. So that's 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 my method of writing uh, rap lyrics. Uh, this is Gustavo Adolfo Uribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Share if it's helpful for you. Um, Chateausholo.com if you're looking for beats. I got some beats. All right. So thanks for watching.